Hey, welcome back to Digital Victory. This is a very special episode. This is episode 100. I can't believe I've done 100 of these and I appreciate all you viewers so much. You guys are the ones that make it happen. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subbed, by the way, hit that sub button. I've been stuck under a thousand forever and I'm trying to hit that thousand mark. So go ahead and bang it if you haven't yet. Today's episode is my top 10 favorite virtual pinball machines. This does not include FX3 tables, by the way. I consider them a bit of a different kind of entity. My top 10 is based purely on my opinion, nothing more. I'd be real curious to see what you agree with and what you don't agree with. Let me know in the comments. Let's check it out. Number 10, this is Star Wars, the Redux Edition. What a cool table, check this out. This is by Ford Dog over at VP Universe, and it's amazing. The nostalgia of this table is so rich. It's not that popular. It's not a very well-known table. I stumbled across it, actually. And man, I just can't stop playing it. And that's why it's my number 10. Now, the music you hear is not included with the table. There is no music when you download the table. However, when they posted the link to the video, somebody in the comments, and I'm sorry I don't remember the name, but I'll make sure it gets up on the screen. Somebody in the comments suggested playing this 8-bit Star Wars music, and oh my god, it took it to a whole new level. That is what made this machine so great for me. So I always got it playing on the background. It's awesome. Awesome machine. This is number 10. Number 9. Monster Bash. And you, unless you've been living under a rock, you know this table. Some VPX version with a pup pack. <laughs> See if we can't get a quick multi ball going with Frankenstein there. Let's go! This table rocks! Get it? Rock? Monster Bat? Music? I'll be here all week, thank you! Hey! Super Jackpot! Let's go! Hi! There are times when I actually am glad it's only a two ball multi ball after a while when I lose one. It gets crazy. Awesome. <laughs> you gotta love it, man. Number nine, Monster Bash. Number eight, Pirates of the Caribbean. This is the Siggy mod version, and it's absolutely incredible. The artwork alone is just spectacular. You know, my top 10 is based on a lot of different reasons, and it's my top 10, so I'll base it on whatever reasons I want, right? I gotta admit, the, the look of this table is a huge part of why it's in my top 10. Look at this. Oh man, this is a spectacular table. Surprised I haven't done a video on this one yet. Let's go, baby multi ball. Let's 
let's hold this ball here. Actually, let's not. Got the ship again. Let's go. Man. They just let this one go and make a whole separate video with this. This is a great one. Finally lost one. Number eight, Pirates of the Caribbean. Let's get to the next one. Captain Fantastic, number seven on my top 10 favorite tables. Wonderful old EM table. You know I got a soft spot for the electromechanical and this is one of the best, man. Uh, not only in real life, it's a very popular table among collectors, but in virtual pinball, this version of it is fantastic. And this is the DPX Dozer mod. Got a link below. Well, this is a nostalgia pick for me. I grew up in the 70s and remember playing this game with my brother and sister. We played the virtual version too. Great table. Great table. Not a bad first ball. Captain Fantastic, number seven. Let's go to the next one. Number six, Lord of the Rings, the Valinor edition. Behold. This, this has got to be one of the most beautiful tables I've ever seen. It looks better than the real table. I mean, obviously it's a mod of the Lord of the Rings table. They've redone the artwork and I just love it. I just love it. Uh, I don't love that, but that's okay. This is just a showcase of the table. Not trying to prove anything here, but the back class in particular, take a look at that. That's by far the most detailed and beautiful back glass of any virtual table I've ever seen. And it's not even close. Now the table plays well too. It plays uh, totally faithful to the normal version despite the mod. The mechanics and the different elements of the table remain unchanged, including that awesome DMD work. I love that. God, what a great movie this was too. Hey, let's go. The Balrog. Keep hitting it. Trying to hit that thing in the middle. Ah, shoot. God, what a great table. This is Lord of the Rings, number six on that list. Number five, Jaws. This is awesome. Now this is a VPX table, but it's based on the future table by Terry Red. That makes any sense. I don't know how the ports work and how they ported it over, but... Let's go. Great, great movie. Great, great table. Amazing graphics. Perfect sound. The music is as good as it gets. Generally regarded as some of the best movie music ever uh, by the great John Williams. Hit one more up there and get that multi-ball going. What do you say? Let's go. Thank God for the grace period, huh? Wow, this is awesome.
This is why it's number five on my list. Yeah, all that music. God bless it. Wonderful stuff. Yes. Jaw is available in future pinball and in VPX. This is number five. Let's go to the next one. Welcome to Judgment Day. All right. Terminator 3. This is number four on the list. Now, I could have just as easily selected Terminator 2. I love both of these games. Terminator 2, Terminator 3. They're both amazing. There's nothing not to like about this. Ball two, lock. See if we can lock one more for a multi ball. Look at this table. Let's go. Love the DMD work. you're wondering why this is on my list <laughs> this is why man it's it's just fun the flow to this table is among the best all that combines to make this number four on my list let's go to the number three number three on my list is world cup soccer awesome table if, Let's go. Ready? Go! Yes, let's go! If you haven't played this, definitely check it out. This table doesn't seem to get the love that some of the other tables do, and I'm not really sure why. It's a wonderful table. Really well put together. The mechanics of it are just perfect, you know? The thrill you get when you score those goals is real. It's awesome. Oh. Yeah, I have plans. I have plans to do a full tutorial on this. But it just keeps getting ah, set aside for other things. Keep your eyes open, though. In the coming episodes, I will be doing a tutorial. Really fun table with a lot of neat mechanics. Shoot final draw for a multi ball. Let's go. Let's go. fun table this this is why it's number three on my list world cup soccer let's do another at number two medieval madness this is the biggest mod version and I have the uh, 
alternate sound package with voices and sounds from Monty Python. I'm actually not a huge fan of Monty Python, but it definitely works here. Ooh, tough break there. As you probably know, uh, Medieval Madness is generally considered to be one of the great pinball machines of all time. And rightfully so. They just get it all right. The theme, the play, the flow, everything about this is, is just terrific. And pretty much every virtual version I've played seems to capture it really well. I don't know that I've played any that I just hated. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have. I'd be curious to know. My favorite version of this... Look, I killed the castle. Yay! Now, my favorite version of this is FX3. Multi-ball madness. Let's go. There is so much love about this table. I would bet, if there was a way to tell uh, which tables I played the most, I don't know if there's a tracker somewhere that says how many times I played particular tables, but if there was, I would bet serious money that this is number one on the list. Honestly believe I played this more than any of the others. Oh, come on, boo. Medieval Madness, number two on my list. We're off to number one. Number one, Superman by Atari. I'm just kidding about that one. This really isn't my number one. And my number one table is Star Wars Death Star Assault Galactic Edition. Was there any doubt? I mean, if you watched my last video, you would know how I feel about this. It's stunning in every way. If you haven't got it yet, definitely check it out. This is a future pinball table by Terry Red, if you're not familiar with it. A remake of a table he previously did, which was amazing. But this just bumps it up to a whole nother level. I mean, if you were to make a list of all the things that you would use to select your favorite table, uh, this covers them all. The graphics, the sound, the music. The theme. The nostalgia factor. I mean, literally any factor I could think of to judge a table, this has in space. And that's why it's my number one. Let's go. Don't make me 
destroy you. Do or do not. Look at that. It's my new high score. 2,600,000. Guys, this is my number one table of all time. One of the very best ever. If you don't have it, definitely get it. Check it out. Thanks so much for joining me for my 100th episode. How's your top 10 list compare? Did I miss some? Please let me know in the comments. And like I said, hit that sub button if you haven't. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.